We play and call it work. Hey folks, Janine from Mini Wargaming here with another how-to video for you. In this video, I want to do a take on the traditional Tau Ochre look on this gun drone. As always, if you have suggestions for something you'd like to see in a future how-to video, please leave them down below in the comments. Now, this model has been prepped by being primed black and sprayed with a little bit of black paint. And I'm going to begin by doing a few layers of airbrushing. Our first coat is going to be with the color Dryad Bark. All of these paints have a Citadel Air color that you can use. I'm going to mix my own paint just because I generally like to have a little bit more control over the consistency and I make it a little bit thinner. I'm just going to use a clean paint pot, a little bit of clean water, and a little bit of paint. The consistency I do is usually about 60% paint, 40% water, and I just kind of have to play around with the color, the consistency, until I get a flow that is really nice and thin and applies to the miniature really smoothly without getting caught and clogging up my airbrush. I'm mixing this with water. However, I recommend using whatever airbrushing medium you happen to like. Now I want to spray this dark brown color all over the gun drone. I'm just doing very thin bursts of paint. I wanna make sure that I apply the paint in a very thin layer slowly building up the color with a lot of control so that it doesn't go on too thick anywhere or gloop. And I'm going to twist and turn the drone to make sure that I get this color on the underside as well. Now the next layer is going to be XV88. I'm mixing this color in the same way I did with the Dryad Bark and as I apply it I'm going to cover most of the top area of the Tau drone. I'm going to let the bottom layer continue to be mostly that dryad bark color and I'm going to try to apply this color more heavily towards the front of the drone so that the back slowly fades and remains a little bit darker. It is going to get a little bit of this XV88 color but as I continue to layer the paint I'm going to be applying fewer layers towards that back area so that it remains darker and the front of the drone is going to really become a solid coat of that XV88 color. I also wanna make sure that the antenna gets a nice solid coat of this paint. And then we also want to paint this color on the front section of the two guns. After the XV88 has been applied, our next color is gonna be Tau Light Ochre. Now, as I apply this, I'm really just going to be spraying from the very front of the gun drone I want the paint to reach the back, however, I'm not going to apply it there directly. I'm mainly going to be applying this from one direction so that that front area is a lot lighter and less paint gets applied to the back. After we finished spraying the Towelite Ochre from the front of the model, we are going to start to line all of the edges that are sculpted onto the drone. We're going to begin using the color Towelite Ochre and I'm actually just going to continue using the paint that I mixed for my airbrush and I'm going to use this to line the back edge of this drone. Since that area is darker, our lining is going to be a little bit darker and the lining that we put on the front of the drone, we're going to use some lighter colors. So I'm just using a small detail brush and I'm going to lightly trace these lines. I want to do both sides of the line and really kind of highlight that detailing. After I finished lining the top, I want to make sure that I line the antenna and these guns on the bottom of the drone. Next, we're going to take a little bit of flayed one flesh and we're going to mix it into our towelite ochre about 50-50. I'm going to begin by applying this color to the corners of all of the lines on the outer edge of the drone. And then I also want to get the area at the very front. This whole arc on the very front of the drone I want to highlight with this lighter color. And I want to get areas like the top of the antenna and kind of anywhere else that I feel like needs to be just a little bit brighter. After I finished with that 50-50 mixture, 
I want to go back with pure flayed one flesh, exaggerating the highlight on those corners and that front arc. Here's the drone after we finish that flayed one flesh highlight. The last step is to take a little bit of Agrax Earth Shade, and I just want to put this into the recesses that are sculpted on the drone just to make those shadows a little bit darker and that's going to make all the lining stand out even more. As you can see I'm not applying it very thickly at all. I'm kind of loading up my brush and then moving that paint around so that it's got a nice thin layer everywhere and it doesn't pool or go on too thick. And after the Agrax Earthshade has dried, the ochre on this Tau Gun Drone is complete. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to see more how-to videos, I have another one where I'm going to go through doing the black step on this Tau Drone and the mini Wargaming Vault in the link down below in the description. If you don't already have a Vault membership, go ahead and click the link. You can sign up for a 7 day free trial and get access to my video as well as hundreds of other videos in the mini Wargaming Vault. So go ahead, click the link, start your free trial, and happy Wargaming!